good morning everyone welcome along to the channel in a new video we're here today at bridge number 506 which is just down from Colworth Junction on the Great Central Railway um, we're gonna go and have a little look on the track bed and um, I'm gonna show you today a little gem of a find it's um, gonna be a little bit of a surprise so uh, just watch the rest of the video and you're gonna enjoy this one I think it's only a little little video but it's gonna be a little walk along the track bed I'm gonna show you this little gem of a find that I found a couple of years ago. Well, I hope it's still there. So come along and join us. So hopefully the access isn't too bad, um, but it's quite overgrown still down there. So we're just gonna take along, walk along this uh, public footpath shortly and see if we can get down on the track bed. There's a lovely bit of uh, original Great Central fencing that's still in place. You just don't see it, do you, as good as this these days? I mean, it's surprising how well this wood lasts. It's looking a bit ropey, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's still here and it's still pretty solid. It's mad, isn't it? Now, if you uh, look at these trees, these trees are very, very similar to what uh, is at Brackley Central. I can't remember the name of these trees now. You have to put it in the comments. Like pine trees. Anyway, yeah, so when the Great Central was built, a lot of these trees were planted in these areas where Obviously, they just wanted to hide the railway a little bit and they don't half grow tall. So that's the trap bed down there. Quite a shallow little cutting at the moment. So we've still got the... Uh, Original GC fences and still running all the way along this field. Right, let's uh, get up onto the trap bed. As you can see, this section is still quite heavily overgrown. But hoping we can still get our way through. Well, there's still some sort of form of pathway, probably only made by the local animals. They can get through just. Right, so we've come out into a bit of a clearing now. So we've just come from through there. So that's heading north. This is going south. So we class it as up the line. remains really on this trap bed a little bit of ballast here and there but other than that it's uh, pretty much gone back to nature oh, this is interesting like a piece of uh, drainage or trunking. And there's some uh, capping stones there, must have been some sort of drainage running through here. So 
we just had to come off the trap bed um, a little bit along here because it's starting to get a little bit foggy and um, the drainage isn't too good but just come up to our next occupation bridge and under this bridge is an old combine harvester and you just make it out look That's quite strange to see that here. Anyway, so this is the, uh, this must be bridge 505. Let's see if we can get back down there because uh, otherwise I'm stuck. We need to go slightly beyond this bridge to show you this little uh, hidden treasure. So uh, bear with us. Just before I do uh, leave this little section, you can probably just make out just along where the trap bed is. It's got this uh, like concrete drainage. Don't know if you can see it in there. That's part of it there. Look. So might even need to do with signalling. Uh, cabling, I don't know if it's that or drainage, but still in place. All right, okay, let's see if we can we can get through. Okay, I just managed to get through all that. So here we go. This is this old uh, combine harvester. <laughs> It's been left under this bridge for many years. What's the make of it? Let's have a look. So it's a Cleese. I think so. Pronounce it. Bramford. This is very old. Really old piece of farming equipment. That's crazy. That's the uh, drainage or um, cable trunking that I was talking to you about. So that's just running back under this this bridge. So this is bridge 505, I think, or it might even be 507, I'm not too sure. So it's a public footpath bridge and nasty crack up there. But other than that, it seems in pretty good shape. And if the number's on here, I could just make out the number five. 50 something, so it's either 505 or 507. Right, okay, let's keep plowing through. So this section of track bed is really, really heavily overgrown, especially through summer. So I thought, well, while I've got the chance to do it now, I'll give it a go. So just having to go along the bank a little bit. You can just make out the trap bed there. And hopefully, anytime soon, we should be coming across this nice little hidden gem. Another little find. By the looks of it, it looks like one of those concrete ballasts, sort of like storage boxes. You just make out the edge, it comes around here, it's like a square sort of concrete box. And it's still got that trunk in, it's still running down the length of the line. So 
we're looking south so it would have led towards Colworth station would have been the next stop so we're just having to go along this bank still because it's still a nightmare getting through so it's been about five minutes we've been walking along this bank trying to fish our way through these thorn bushes it's quite tricky but we're not far off now so still running parallel with the trap bed It's a bit of a clearing now. You can just make out up there is your next bridge. I think that one was just before Colworth, Colworth Station. So not far away now from where I want to show you this nice little hidden treasure. And it should be around here somewhere. Right guys, I think I found it. There it is. <coughs> this is probably the only surviving still in place. Plate lay, well I call it a plate lay hut, but it's a <coughs> like a workman's track sort of building and it's made of uh, wood with uh, like a sleeper roof and it's got some sort of like black tar that's been melted onto it this is amazing M lovely little find this um, I come down here a few years back with uh, my friend Terry and we found this together it's a lovely little find you just don't see them, not in the Great Central anyway. I mean, there's hardly anything left of the Great Central these days, so let's see if we can get round and try and get in it. Look. I love finding these little things, they're just amazing that they're still here. So that's your, your fireplace. So let's take them inside first. There's your little fireplace. And you've still got hooks. These big cast iron hooks, look. Where you'd hang your, your jacket and your hat and a little shelf. Uh, let's put your mugs on. I mean, it's still pretty, pretty complete. Bar, obviously, the door's missing. So there would have been a door this side. You can see the brackets. I'm not too sure what's happened this side. I think it's just disappeared. And uh, a little bench, look. That's probably been put in here afterwards, but I can't believe a little fire. Let's see if I can stick the camera inside. I don't know if you'll see anything or not. There you go, you can probably see out the chimney. Chimney pot up there, yeah? There we go. Let's have a quick look around the back. So 
There's your chimney stack. And what looks like a little, little storage, rear storage area. Door on the side. That's well rotten. I can't believe this wood has lasted this long. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because it's like a bitumen sort of covering on it. Tar, like a tar based stuff. This is totally original. A cracking little find. It's very hard to sort of like get a full picture of it because there's so many trees in the way, but it gives you an idea if I stand here. Isn't that lovely? It's so peaceful out here as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little find. Spin the camera around, hold on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, what a lovely little find this is. It's quite rare, I mean, you just don't see these little huts on the side of the track line still existing, um, made of wood and brick. But yeah, you can just uh, picture it now, can't you? The train's sort of whizzing past and this was a a little hideaway for the workmen. A little warm fire going, having a cup of tea probably. Well, there we go. All right, let's start heading back. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one coming up pretty shortly. Take care. Bye.